see the science behind the VeriSeq NIPT solution. Screening for aneuploidy involves three simple steps. NIPT leverages fetal cell-free DNA released by placental cells during pregnancy into the maternal bloodstream using a specialized tube that prevents cells from breaking down and obscuring the fetal cell-free DNA. It can provide information about selected chromosomal abnormalities in the fetus, including trisomies 21, 18, 13, and sex chromosome aneuploidies. First, using a single tube of blood, plasma containing cell-free DNA is isolated. Next, the cell-free DNA from both maternal and fetal origins is filtered from serum proteins in the plasma for extraction. This purified cell-free DNA is then used to prepare sequencing libraries. In addition to universal sequencing adapters shown in yellow and blue, a sample-specific barcode, called an index, shown here in red, is attached to each cell-free DNA fragment. This allows samples from multiple patients to be sequenced together in a single batch for maximum speed and efficiency. Libraries composed of cell-free DNA from multiple patients are labeled with universal sequencing adapters, shown in blue and yellow, at the end of each fragment and sample-specific indexes or barcodes, shown in several colors, just inside the adapters. These barcodes distinguish the reads from each sample. Both ends of the cell-free DNA fragments are sequenced using short 36 base pair reads, shown here in yellow and blue, corresponding to the adapter ends. While the ends, not the entire fragment, are sequenced, paired end reads enable improved alignment accuracy and, more importantly, determine the cell-free DNA fragment length. As each pair of sequence reads is aligned to the genome, the length of the cell-free DNA fragment is inferred from the distance between the two reads. This whole genome approach efficiently and robustly captures information for each sample. The target-free approach reduces complexity. This provides numerous advantages, including a low failure rate. Fragment length distribution information gained from paired end reads and sequencing coverage profiles are used to estimate the fetal fraction or the portion of the cell-free DNA that is fetal in origin. Prior to assessing aneuploidy status, quality controls ensure confidence in reported results. One notable metric uses a dynamic threshold for each sample to detect aneuploidy. Those with lower fetal fraction estimates have higher coverage requirements. Once samples pass this threshold, reads are sorted by chromosomes to look for deviations from the expected distribution. In addition to focusing on all reads, the solution refines the assessment by looking at shorter cell-free DNA fragments that are known to be enriched with fetal signals. This innovative analysis methodology allows aneuploidy to be detected in more samples, including those with low fetal fraction. Find out more about how to bring this innovative solution to your lab.